here in the state of Minnesota, we're even under, I think, more pressure from a water quality standpoint. We have some new buffer laws and uh, growers are being mandated. And, and I, I don't think it's just the mandates. The growers themselves are very concerned about the sustainability. So we know that these crops use a tremendous amount of nutritional materials, nitrogen being a driver for a lot of them. And so, you know, they are trying to utilize that in the most efficient manner possible to grow as many bushels as possible. And so as they, as they use the Simtrex, they know that they get a slow release of nitrogen over the whole year. The plant can utilize that exclusively so we don't see that waste. And again, it, it transfers economically to them to more bushels because they don't have to uh, have any waste, right? Because it's an important and a, a expensive ingredient in what they're doing. Sulfur is a key component uh, for our growers and when they're trying to produce, uh, maximize uh, their production. And so sulfur has been part of what we've done for the last 10 years and, and Simtrex can provide that in a very usable format. It's a really neat product. I think our growers and, and we are excited as well that it's repurposed material. And I think that's just the future of what we're all trying to do and become more efficient. You know, the key in being competitive in this global environment as we're trying to feed more people is, is being uh, as efficient as we can with those nutritional products. These growers have to produce the maximum of bushels for the least amount of dollars so that they compete essentially globally for these broad acre commodity crops. And so we're trying to provide solutions continually to help them stay ahead of that curve. And Simtrex, although from a price point standpoint can be a little bit more on a per acre basis, it delivers more bushels. And that's ultimately what they're trying to do.